Who doesn't love a good penis thrashing, right? Welcome back. It's Phantom Trick Ghost Detective. Or Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, rather. <laughs> Forgive me for that intro. I just wanted to make sure you were listening. And by God, if that didn't get your attention right off the bat, I don't know what will. Um, I'm back because I need to stock up on some episodes. I'm going away for a few days. I'm gonna be away from the old computer. <sighs> I could just jump straight to him. Whoops. Nope, don't want, I don't want to do that. I want to talk to her first. So, a little behind the scenes. I'm just going to go ahead and load. I think I've done this before. I'm just going to load back up really quick. What's the story here, Lynn? Eek! What kind of greeting is that? I mean, I know I'm a ghost, but... Well, and how did it go? Was Joan still alive? Well, yes. For now. He'd already been executed by the time I got there. I did manage to save him, but... You did? Oh, I'm so glad! Wait a minute, did you say but? Eh, yeah, told her the tale. Other murder can bring my... Oh, you couldn't bring yourself to tell her about the other murder. Cavalada arrested Jowd? I can't believe it! Yeah, I feel the same way. I mean, I barely know the guy, maybe. I can't believe that... Wherever I go, someone is always dead. Either you or somebody else. Well, it does seem to be like a recurring theme. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, who's that lying on the floor there? Oh, you noticed him, did you? That's the Justice Minister. Yeah, I noticed him. The man who signed the order to carry out Detective Jowd's execution. He was already dead when I got here. I'm really owning the whole British thing now. Shouldn't you have called for help in that case? Hmm, guess so. But I want, but I wanted, remember, for murder. I was hoping we could save him without me getting caught. We oh, eh? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. Done. Done. Ooh, a fan. Ooh. I'm curious what that is. Can I? That's oh, a pitcher of water. Uh, this guy's voice is easy enough to do. Sure, I'll go for it. He'll most likely be unconscious. Can't let one of these guys know I'm running around. Otherwise, he'll call the superiors. I think? I mean, can you hear me? No, he cannot. He's dead, but still unconscious. Could you rescue him now while he's still unconscious? I mean, I can. Stay talking to him. I'll move faster just to see for yourself what happened. Yeah, I bet you're right. Back we go. Four minutes. Why four? Why not five? Like, I don't know, five. It's halfway to ten. Just, yeah, makes sense. Ugh, this poor bastard. Him and his manly wife ran out on him. <laughs> For those of you that forgot his voice, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say it until I have actual actual text box with, like, uh, portraits going on here. Alright, so we got a phone call. Ooh. Where well, they ordered him to do something, and he agreed reluctantly, it seems. Was it kill yourself? This is terrible. Someone posted something in my chat. McCree gets a play of the game as McCree. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, Matthew Mercer's Twitter. Okay. Alright, so he's upset. Why doesn't she answer? Not his voice. Good lord, dude. Give me a portrait so I can do the voice. God, you... Just give me the portrait, you... Are you serious? Are you kidding me? He had a heart attack? Buddy. Come on now. You suck. Oh, come on! Huh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ahem. 
Mm-mm-mm. Goo, such a foolish man. Ah, you woke up. He's a contradiction. Contradiction? The more we search for the truth, the further into a dilemma we fall. The world of men is steeped in contradictions. What was it where the guy's like, we must find the contradiction? I think it was, uh, interestingly enough, the Miles Edgeworth game. That was a fun one. I liked that game. In the world of men is steeped in contradictions. We choose this. Well, it's Phoenix Wright in general, I guess. Hmm. <clears throat> we can't have that. If a man tries to have his medicine bottle and water pitcher, too, he loses both. I don't know, it looks to me like you could have had both those things just now. You just suck. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. Such a foolish man. This is the same guy. Or maybe I should say a pathetic man. That's a more fitting word. I don't think this guy gets it yet. Foolish and pathetic man is him. Is that what they call a contradiction? By the way, what's your name? Just call me a seeker of truth. Sidestep that one, didn't he? Well, this will be embarrassing when I save his life, won't it? Trick time! Alright. I can reach the phone. Ah. Emma! Go, excuse me. Oh, oh, God. By the way, Neko just commented on the first episode with her. She does have some of the... I think... What did she say? Was it stupid? Weird? Ridiculous? Something about her hair. One of the most hairs in video games. Absurd? Improbable? Conical shaped? Oh, God. Why didn't it... Uh... Did it really send it to my spam? Shouldn't do that. Because now I gotta check my email. Refresh my spam. <sighs> no. Nope, not my spam. Hmm. Weird that it didn't tell me what she said in my email. Oh well. Uh, Neko definitely called this hair something or other. Ridiculous, absurd. But, I think she said it was the most ridiculous in pretty much any video game. One of the most. Forgive me if a clown's all like Mr. Minister. Who is this? How did you get this number? We have your daughter. Do they? They would have had to have beaten his wife then. Who is this? Em Emile's... Emile's? Em Emily? Em Greg's tutor? What a tutor call out this hour! No. I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. What? My daughter, is she alright? Tell me she's alright. Have her stop. Oh Christ. Papa, help. I think that was. I'm going to be cute. That was probably her voice. It's about right. Papa. It was. It, it had that list. That lilt was the word I was looking for. It had that lilt to it. What do you want? What are your demands? I believe we already made our demands on the other day. Oh, so it was you. And have your compound? Has the exocar been carried out? I didn't do it because of your demand. I did it because that's my job. Yes, yes, of course. They should be contacting me any minute now at the Confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. A bad girl. You don't want to remember that. I thought they were on the same, well, kind of on the same side. Because the, the dude earlier, who I liked voicing, those two dudes, who haven't been in the game since. God. The best thing that could happen for doing voices is Cabanella, Eyebrow Dude, and dude who just smacks the command panel all get together in the room and just have a conversation. That would be beautiful. I would love that so much. Ugh. And of course it goes without saying we're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell the police, is that it? Exactly. 
All you have to do is your job. All right, I'll do as you say. I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. Um... Alright, so on the one hand, I think I need to stay here if I want to save the dude's life. On the other hand, I can always just restart if I want, and I want to check up on those guys. So I'm actually going to go there. I mean, he died of a heart attack. There's no there's no reason to... Uh... Also, he's going to call... I don't know, that's not going to pick up his wife's apartment. <sighs> oh, and of course I need this phone number, right? Eh? Apparently, the police in this country aren't so easily fought. I had no idea what tonight's deal had linked. Papa, help! I'm going to be killed, Papa! I hate you, Mama! Luckily, I managed to arrange shit so the Justice Minute could hear her voice. What's taking the gun so long to arrive? I'm starting to get concerned. Yeah, I imagine there's not much I can do here. Yeah. I can look around. There's like statues and shit, candles, cabinet. That's not helping. I imagine I need to leave, but I was sort of hoping something else would happen. Uh oh, the woman doesn't show any signs of moving. Ugh. Yeah, I knew it wasn't a trap. I knew what I was doing. I can restart if I want. I just want to see. Does she do anything else? Now, fine, from the beginning. I had hoped there'd be more of the information there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, we have to watch the phone call again? Blah, blah. Emma. No, it's not Emma. Oh, my goodness. Oh, for God's sakes. Also, he already agreed to your de That is weird. He already agreed to your demands and you kidnapped his daughter. That's weird. I thought, like, a uh, Russian McBad guy would be there. Blah, blah, blah. Also, it sounds like it was gonna happen anyway. Maybe you sort of sped it up to the 11 o'clock thing, but the guy wanted to be executed, and he said he did it because it was his job. So, you know, eh. Your whole, your whole thing seems unnecessary here. Especially since now it's gotten me involved. I'm gonna stay here. But it's important that I got that phone number. There's also a train outside my place. I don't know if you can hear that. God, he is not shy about having his presence known. This is terrible. Kidnapping, eh? Hey, once again, I'm not sure I know what the world me word means. Kid. Hmm. Kidnapping. What could that mean? Hmm. Obviously, it comes from the root word kidna and the word ping. Kidna, of course, being short for a kidna, and ping being a Chinese name. So obviously, it has to do with Asian marsupials. I don't think they're marsupials. Asian mammals. Yep. <sighs> and apparently the cause of the minister's attack. Such a useless man. It doesn't really suit this guy. No, he's dead. <clears throat> Such a useless man. Huh? A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why doesn't he understand that? We only have four minutes here. Better do something about the medicine. See, when he's dead, he's got, like, an air of authority to it. Ah, but, uh... I can examine the water pitcher, and I can examine the medicine bottle. I imagine I have to be here, and then, like... The foot will kick me. So this medicine stops the minister's attacks, eh? If I can spill him right onto his desk now, I can't even open the cap. What a shabby excuse for a man! Huh? He wears his important-looking uniform and sits working at his stately desk. 
But what does he have inside? Nothing! A miserable, shabby excuse for a man. By the way, if Missile ever comes back, that's his voice. Missile and this guy. Same voice. I think you've already said quite enough. Yeah, yeah, just... Dun, 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 dun. Goo, why won't she pick up? Why doesn't she answer? Or something like that. <sighs> hmm. Good lord. Bit of a drama queen, you know? My heart! Oh, I'm sorry. Um, oh, my heart! Here it comes. We're in anxiety reach the peak. Such a disgraceful man! Huh? If one, li if one lives his life in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. It's so simple. Why doesn't he understand? There wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet, though. I can't give up. Hey, he's gonna be like, uh, man, oh, come on, dude. Yeah, there's a reason I did that. Oh, what? I can swing the sword. Ooh, the thunk. I can also raise the arm. Huh, that's weird. It's that's probably how I get out of here. He can, like, raise the arm and get up there. We're afraid now. Trick! Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, boy. Alright, time to start over. Do I... I guess I have to catch it. Make your phone call real quick. Oh, shit. We're already here? Fuck me. I guess it's good that, you know... That's polite of them. I need to ghost it as soon... I need to try and catch the sword, I guess. As he tries to go for it. Oh, I can't! Fuck me. The arm doesn't do shit, right? Unless I really have to fucking... What is that? Undo. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, come on! Really? I really thought I could get it while it was swinging. Oh, I can... This is ridiculous. Yeah, alright. Start over. This is crazy. This all happens in a matter of seconds. Jesus Christ. Alright, I need to I need to rule out what is and isn't worth it. Alright, so the sword isn't cutting it. Okay, so he goes for the medicine. Because he's a clumsy fuck. Alright, you need to get raised. You need to be undone. I said trick, you bitch! He needs to be brought up. 
I wish this game would do what I tell it to. Hopefully this does it. That didn't do anything. Ugh, all that did was make it fall. What if I only undid the one side? I don't know. This is... I don't like how this the direction this game is taken, because this is annoying. The last one wasn't great either with the moving the guards around. I'm not a fan of this one. Taking... Forcing me to move quickly in a matter of seconds. <sighs> Not yet. <sighs> chop chop, buddy. It would that would make sense, you know, you swing it, oh and then the thing fell and I was like, alright, you swing it now, no. Like I just don't know. Alright. So I don't know, man. Fuck, I don't wanna look up a walkthrough, but at the same time, I feel like I'm wasting everyone's time going so slow here. do here. I can turn that. I can spin that. That won't help. Undo that. That's probably all for later, though. Like when I need to get around. Fuck no! God damn it. Just restart. It's gotta be the sword, right? I have to swing and knock the medicine back. There's nothing else it can be. I'll examine the water pitcher. That probably won't get me anywhere, though. You can at least drink some of this water. Too bad he knocks it to the... Th Stupid man. Once the water is spilled, there's no going back. And knowing that full well, why people still spill water pitchers. There isn't really much I can do. I can I flap the flag? Hey, look at this flag, buddy. Boy. What a flag, huh? Mmm, look at that flag. Look at that flag go. Does this help in any way? Mmm. Look at that flag flap. Should I be in the picture for this? He's dying. Water. Oh, wait a minute. I have no idea, fucking, and now I can't restart either. This sucks, I hate this so much. I miss when this game was fun. I had, you know, time to, like, figure it out. But no, this is just, here's three seconds to figure it out. That's not fun. Hopefully it gets better after this. It goes back to what it was before. Big elaborate death scenarios that I need to go around and see the world. I'm trying. What if I turn it and then rock it? We'll also see what he has to say. Just have to get the mess into the minister. There's only a few seconds left. Short-sighted man. Happiness. Huh. <sighs> There's enough time to do anything in this state. I better rethink this from the beginning. What? Oh, so it is the water. Well, I mean, fuck it, I'm here, I might as well, right? What the shit? What'd that do? 
Not a clue in the world. Alright, so I need to get him the water. But how do I get him the water? All I can do over there is flap with a flag. Ugh. Do I make the phone ring? Can I do that? I can't remember. I think it works that way. Maybe I need to flap the flag as the water is falling over? Because from that it really looked like I wasn't supposed to be focusing on the pills just yet. I need to focus on the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah the man's dying. <sighs> Alright, he drops the medicine. He's like, no! Water! Oh, look at that. That worked. Huh. Well, that should help. At least now he's had some water. Still breathing, but he looks far from recovered. <sighs> that was annoying. And yeah, it was my fault for not checking the water thing, but I thought I had to go after the medicine. Don't tell me you were any different. You probably went after the medicine at first, too. Such a wishy-washy man. Huh? He can't make up his mind whether to live or die. That's how he lives life. Okay. At least now I bought some time. Yay, fate changed. I'm still not in great shape, but you know. Something's gotta happen, because I can't get over there now. Mr. Spade has changed, but the situation seems the same. I can't move anywhere. Did I miss something? I think I saw a path just for a second while the minister was drinking the water. Really? From the beginning? Are you sure? I mean, all right, if I can... Whatever you say, Cecil. Oh, his pen, maybe? I don't know. My heart! Medicine. He's still dying. He goes for the water. Can't be the phone. That maybe? I thought he would like knock a paper over or something. <sighs> blah de blah. Alright, the fan maybe? Because it said while he was drinking water, and he like spins it around dramatically, maybe I can get up to the fan? We're running out of options at this point, alright? I know he knocks the phone off, but I can't use the phone. <sighs> Yo, and, mm, I should take my shoes off. That's uncomfortable. Dum -de -dum. Oh, hey, a man's dying. That's crazy. Never seen that before. Huh, um, um. Water. No. Stop that. Alright, now I'm in the pitcher. He's gonna fucking grab it and raise it up dramatically! Maybe he holds it even higher while he drinks it? I can get to the fan. Huh. <sighs> 
That should help. All right, so I need to spin harder and get the papers to fly away. Still breathing. Blah de blah de blah. Lynn has nothing to. Well, I guess Lynn isn't here. I was gonna say, Lynn's been. Huh. Uncharacteristically quiet. Easy. Oh. E easy. There we go. Ta da. Now, to get him his medicine. Alright, time for the next step. Now, about this medicine bottle. Minister's going to make a full recovery. I need to deliver this thing to him. But how's a ghost know I ain't supposed to do that? I'll have to use my head. I obviously get the knight to... Oh, and I'm on a timer again. Great. Well, shit. I obviously need the knight... to swing down on it. But I don't know how I do that. Alright. Because that didn't... That didn't work. That didn't hit the bottle. I tried that already. What might work, now that I'm looking at it, is if I... First of all, turn this bad boy. And... Oh, shit. Nope. Not what I wanted. Go up here. Trick that. That's there now. I loosen this bad boy. This gets lowered. Brought over here. Well, what does this do if I spin it? Well, let's turn it first, just to see. Because if it does go over and knock that thing... Ha! As planned. Sort of. Aha! A ramp! I mean, really? Sort of wanted you to roll the other way there, bro. Oh! Damn it! Uh, I better be in that fucking fan. Uh, good. Alrighty. We know. Been here, done the hell. My god, so dear. I hate this one. Ugh. Turn this. Spin that. Undo that. Ugh. God, I wish you could just get up and walk over here. That'd be nice. Oh, fucking god damn it! Why can't I undo one action game? Fuck! Oh. Undo one action. That would make this game so much better. I'm not ending the episode. Not until I've gotten this. This is stupid. Just a 
quick button. All it needs to be is like undo action. Undo previous. Oh my god! <sighs> this isn't good game design. I've seen this already. Don't even like let me. What am I doing? I guess. No, whatever. Don't even, like, let me do it repeatedly. Give me, like, I can undo one action, but then once I undo that action, I cannot undo another action. You know, until I've performed another action. You know how nice that would be? Like, the, la the last thing I did was I turned this and I raised the arm. So if I hit undo, it turns it back, but I can't, you know, undo the arm being raised. You know, it, all it would need to be more permanent than that, like that thing falling over, but my... God, would it help? Alright, first things first. You go down there. Oh, this is a lot of back and forth, now that I look at it. La -da -dee. I hate this part. This entire mission, like, not been great. The last one wasn't great. This one hasn't been great. I liked, uh when we had to stop him from being electrocuted. That was fun. That was still part of the same theme. Cool. Now it's like that. I guess. That makes sense. Alright, so if I do this... God's sakes. <sighs> Better be grateful for this ass hat. Alright! Is the globe big enough? Thank you! My medicine! <sighs> um... Might have OD'd on that, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Such a greedy Africa, oh, I don't care. Seems like the French dude. Ugh. That was miserable. Oh, play this taught him a lesson. Huh? He greatly underestimated his dependence on medicine. I hope he learned something. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. You need to listen to your own advice. Anyways, let's get back to the world of the present. And so the Justice Minister is now back to life, but the furrows on his brow are even deeper. And apparently our lady detective is present to the present cause of those furrows. And look, detective, he was sentenced after a fair trial, and the man himself wants to be executed. But there's no evidence! All they had was his own confession! That's pretty good. This was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back! Hey, he's slipping into Mr. Burns. I told you I don't want anybody coming near me! Mister, please listen to me. I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. What? So please, please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. 
Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. But when he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out tonight. No! But when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty! Why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I simply performing my duty as Justice Minister. That's all there is to it. Trick time, you say? Also, why is there a globe on a sword and like a impromptu seesaw thing? It's very odd, if you ask me. <sighs> That's going to be it for this episode. God, that sucked. When we come back, hopefully, improvement. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Tokenland. Talk to you later. Shoot me on shares and see you around Asklands.